What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And just as requested, we're going to be going through and trying to get this Tyreek Hill gameplay for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some description of what he's doing. The dude is fully chemmed up, brawler chem, looking like a straight monster. Dude is just straight savage with it, bro. So pretty much what's going to happen is, you know, the way my team works, I try to make sure that everybody feels good about themselves. You know, my squad, you know, we have meetings in the, you know, in the locker room when I come in there, dressed like Winnie the Pooh, nothing on the bottom. And we just talk, bro. Like, you know, look, we're a team, man. But adding Tyreek Hill, first of all, you know, Terrell Owens was pretty angry about it. He got benched. It was a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I kind of had a feeling that Randy Moss was going to try to show out with one of his butt cheeks hanging out. And he has the opportunity in this gameplay to do so. So he's eight, like, it's you're gonna see what's gonna happen. But we're, it's this video is supposed to be about Tyreek Hill, but Randy Moss made it about him. I want to point out again: always have this screen set before you load into games now while this DC glitch is going on, because once you see that the person like disconnects the game and it says the connection to your peer has been lost at the top three screen, do not click OK. Just close the application. All right. Once you close the application, they will be rendered useless. They will not be able to get a win off you. And they just, you know, they're just going to be idiots and just be sitting back thinking it was going to work and it won't. All right. Once it loads up and the EA Sports thing comes out and you see the scoreboard, anybody that quits after that, usually you get the win. Okay. Usually. If you want to keep that screen up up until kickoff, feel free to do so. As soon as you see anything fishy, with connection to your peer has been lost, just close the application and get out so that you won't get the loss. But you have to be very, very careful because like I showed you in a video that I put out a, a, a day ago, um, dudes are running around rampant just doing it, but this will save us for now. Obviously, EA Sports is gonna have to put together a better fix uh, coming very, very soon in the near future. Um, you know, I look forward to that getting done so that we can kind of know that we don't have to worry about these guys coming out with a doodle stain in their butt and just doing whatever they want to do to us and then we have to take the loss. So definitely look out for that because once that's released and we know that they can no longer do that at the top three screen, that's going to be a beautiful thing. All right, now get into the game. You saw what Randy Moss just did, okay? This video was not supposed to be about it, but if you go back and rewind the video, you'll see that he had a cover two set on, T um, on Tyreek on the right side so after they bumped him he wouldn't have been able to get open where i wanted him randy moss is just running by himself like where are we gonna go with it we gotta go with the guy you know what i'm saying that's wide open like that's pretty much what the whole objective is so that's what we went with right there and you know it's gonna create some controversy in the locker room but that's something that as a head coach i have to be able to deal with but at the end of the day i'll just bring their wives in. you know what i'm saying like i let them know right away look guys if you guys want to you know have your little you know disputes it's about the team all right that's all. I don't care about all the stuff that's going on, but let's talk about Tyreek Hill. Is he worth it? All right. I haven't been able to actually dissect what he's doing, but after this guy right here, he's going to start running this weird offense and doing all kinds of weird stuff. I'm going to take you into the solo that I hope that you guys are doing on a regular basis and you have all your team of the week tokens. You should have a to Hold up. Should you have like 10 right now? No, no, no. Maybe 10, right? I don't know. I got to check it. I know that they had one for preseason, didn't they? I'm not sure, bro. I gotta go check my tokens, but you should have had, um, you should have at least nine. This is week nine. So you should have nine of them. If you don't, you're probably gonna be in the same situation as with Mutt 10, because I don't think that they're gonna give you guys uh, repeat chances to get that done. Now with those, you have a whole week to do it. Uh, so I would think that within a week, unless you go on vacation, and um, you're just unable to, but I would say if you, you know, if you're a gamer, you probably take your console with you. That's just, you know, most gamers are gonna do that. If you can't do it, um, or you go to somebody else that may have it, you're gonna probably wanna just sign in and just do it or whatever. But usually a week is good enough because you usually get back to be able to handle your business. And like I said, if you know you're not gonna, oh, okay, bro. All right, and when they do it during the game, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, it's a win. So you don't need to like close app, obviously, with that. It's only at the beginning with the top three screen. That is the only time that you do that. When you see it, you know you're getting a loss. So you have to close the application. Just have it set, ready to go, and you're pretty much done. So once we back out, we're going to get our win from there. And obviously, we weren't able to see Tyreek Hill gameplay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump into the weekly solos that I've been talking about and take a look at what's going on. The biggest thing that you guys have to understand about Tyreek Hill's speed is that you need to get him going. Like, you, he'll run by almost every corner except for Deion Sanders in this game. You have to get him going. 
once you get them going, like, you know, whatever defense they're playing, cover three, cover two, whatever, you have to be able to manipulate how you throw them the ball. See, that that's the actual issue with everything that's going on um, that you're going to have to figure out. It's very, very necessary that you get the ball to him at the right time, that you throw it at the right point. Now, if your quarterback has a weak arm, you're going to have to throw the ball earlier so that way he can run to the ball. If you got guys with 94 uh, throw power, stuff like that, you can throw it when the players are level and level. Like if you see the corner and, and your receiver who was Tyreek Hill, they're both running at the same level, you can lob it then. Um, that's pretty much how you're going to have success with him because he has the speed to outrun anybody. So it won't really matter what everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're definitely going to be able to accomplish that goal regardless. Um, other than that though, like as we go through these solos and we talk about stuff, um, Tyreek Hill is probably going to be a starter or maybe like if somebody's running like tight, uh, you know, a slot receiver in many of the opponent's uh, teams that you're going to be playing very, very soon. I want to point out that even though we're having fun with it, it can hurt us. All right. Let me just be very, like, I don't want to laugh, bro, but it's hilarious what's going to happen because he's so fast that if you take your eye off of him or, you know, like, you know, most guys come out with playing like edge blitz and all that stuff. And, we, and we're trying to like lock up. Remember, he's a 98 speed. My um, my Denzel Ward, I believe, is 96. And uh, I believe Deion Sanders is a 97. So you're going to have to be very, very careful when you're running that man-to-man -man defense and being a savage. Because if you don't get the blitz in, it's going to be a touchdown every single time. It's not even going to be a question about it. He's going for six, and he's probably going to pick your moms up when he's done with that. And nobody wants our moms to get picked up, so you're going to have to make the better decision. Ultimately, as you go into weekend league this week, it's going to be a lot of Tyreek Hill mania going on. And I'm telling you right now, I'm already starting to adjust the way that I play defense. Like, you're going to have to back guys off. And even if you back guys off, if your blitz does not get there, you need to have all coverage and just have safeties floating back. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. If you do not have people back there in coverage for whatever reason, you're going to get dealt with accordingly because matching them up one-on-one -on -one with any corner. I would say Denzel Ward chemmed up where he is right now for my team with the 96 speed should be fast enough, but I'm not sure. Like, you look at the way that he runs. He And this is competitive, right? So for those of you guys that know, when it's all competitive and you choose the hardest setting, the computer cheats. They're not able to, and that was the base one, that's not even the one with all the speed, because they actually give you one to play with um, in, in the actual solo. So with that being said, you gotta understand, we have to game plan for that now. So just keep that in your mind. As much as we're having fun, we're gonna run around with Tyreek Hill and it's a joke or whatever, be careful. Another thing that I wanna point out, I don't think it's smart to put him on kickoffs, all right? I'm gonna leave that idiot Tariq Cohen on kickoffs for now. I will be retailing him effective immediately as soon as I'm able to get my bread up. My bread is very, very low. My bank account is just not set up where I need it to be. So I have to kind of just have him there. But you guys need to know this, right? When you get the ball on offense, he needs to be full, like have all of his stamina up. Because the, the biggest thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna try play action. You, you know, coming out of run sets, you're gonna try play action. You're gonna mix it up to kind of see what your opponent is dealing with, all right? For whatever reason, if your opponent is bold enough to think it's sweet and he can press, you know, maybe he has a Dion with lockdown on him. That may be the only issue. We may have to start putting corners with abilities, which is really going to hurt what we're doing as far as like the edge threat. And it definitely shows when you don't have edge threat on your players. We may have to start putting abilities on corners because Tyree Kill and Randy Moss is going to be way too much. The, the good thing, though, is we know that they can't block. They couldn't block a dead fly. So... Pretty much what happens is, if they try to run the ball a lot, you should be able to get sheds, but that's also not a guarantee, because it depends. Sometimes EA makes them block, sometimes they don't. So that also, you know, it's just some something I'm trying to put into your head to make you understand. Is he a GOAT? Yes, the dude is the GOAT, but you have to be careful when you're playing against him. When we're playing with him, bruh, it, it's always fun in games. We're gonna be having a blast, like straight blast from the past on these dudes. But, you know, it can end, it can end really badly. Um, you know, even right here, what you see like how they step for step? Look at what happens. Look at the distance. It's like he's playing at week nine in the NFL, the way he ran, into, ran with his teammate. The separation is so vivid that you're going to want to have this guy on your team, regardless of it. You know, he can't block. He can't jump. I don't care what he could do. Only thing I know we could do is definitely get the ball into the end zone. And that's all I really care about. Let me check out what the next one is. What they got going on here? 
Um, get six of my. No, I ain't doing that. I ain't, I'm gonna be raging. I ain't gonna do that right now. Having to get the user tackles, all that foolishness. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, so that's pretty much what it is. Now, remember, when you do the first one, you definitely get the token. The second one is for you to get a player. Some of you guys are full, uh, pulling full Team of the Week players. I probably will not have the opportunity to do that. I don't want to say never. But EA Sports, I don't think, will definitely bless me like that anytime soon. So make sure you get the tokens. Those are the most important things because at the end of the year, you're gonna want you're gonna want your free player. So that's it for me. Definitely go out there and get your Tyreek Hill if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Stay safe. Until next time. One love.